Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all are definitely on my phone right now because my freaking camera is upstairs and I generally don't have the time. I am tired. I'm about to head to the salon because I have one client that I'm doing like a closure, re, what is it? A closure refresher or something. Oh my God. Either way. Um, I'm about to go to the salon to get that done and then I have to do a little bit of shopping so we're gonna go shopping I want to go to Trader Joe's and get some you know supplies and stuff for the house I gotta go to Target because I gotta get some supplies and stuff you know for the house um, I haven't been to Target and Trader Joe's in so long so we're gonna go shopping together and I am so excited I hate when people do this dumb shit with their car because you block two things full like i'm trying to get gas and this man's car is all the way up upside mines you feel me like what the hell what the hell and what do y'all do so when i'm pumping gas I don't pump gas based on the price. I pump gas based on the gallons. So I wanted to put in 10 gallons because I know that it would get me like almost full, but I don't got time to put in the full like 13 gallons that my car needs. So I pump it based on gallons. I don't pump it based on the money. So I don't know if that's just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if that's a smart thing or not, but I don't pump it based on the money. Like I feel like the money is gonna be, is gonna be taken out regardless. I pump it based on how much gas I need. You know what I mean? So yeah, my car, I think it takes more than 13 if I'm not mistaken. It either takes 13 or like 15, one of those. But no, I think it's 13. But I pumped like 10, ga 10 gallons. No, it takes 15. Because I already had like three bars, two bars, and then I pumped 10. And it's like three away from being full. So it's 15. But yeah, I put in 10 gallons of gas. Y'all let me know. Like how y'all pump gas? I don't know. But either way, I'm about to go to the salon and when I'm leaving the salon to go to, which we call it, what is this place called? Trader Joe's. We gonna hop back on here and talk to you guys, feel me? You might, you know, mine's them inconsiderate five-star hotel eating cigarettes, smoking cigarettes, whatever he said. We could go bun for bun, fuck that, we go in for him. The long fucking real. Guys, I'm sad. I know I was. I said I wasn't gonna come back on here, but I'm so sad. I lost my freaking diamond earring. Wait, my earring's gone. Are you? S oh my god, I'm gonna cry. My diamond earring. I'm pretty upset. <laughs> oh my god. I lost my diamond earring, and I hope that it doesn't like get lost in bed. Because whoever's the first one to wake up, or the last one to wake up, we make the bed sound. It's a tiny earring, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little tiny diamond earring, and I hope I don't lose it. It's so crazy, because literally yesterday, I was looking at earrings, and I'm like, I wouldn't get myself a bigger diamond earring. And then I lose a little tiny one, so why would I even get a bigger one so I can lose that too? Like, come on. Damn. I hope I find it. I feel like Kim. Oh, my earring, my diamond earring. Kim, there are people that are dying, okay? There are people that are dying. You're worried about the wrong fucking thing. You're a fucking millionaire. One day I'll be a millionaire. <gasps> right now I'm not. So we are back home from our shopping and I just wanted to 
show y'all everything that we got. I finally got my camera. I came home to grab my camera so that I can vlog and left my camera home and went out shopping. So yeah. Anyways, I already popped some things in the freezer. First things first, I've been craving Branzino like no other. So I went to Trader Joe's and I got the Branzino fillets. And then I got the Korean beef short ribs. I've tried these before and they're actually really good. So yeah, we will do that tonight. And let's just finish up the Trader Joe's. Then I've been seeing Kendra talk about this Trader Joe's Brazilian nuts lotion, mainly the body butter, but I am a sucker for things that smell good so I smelled the body wash and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna get this I'm excited to try those out and then I got myself some bagels these bagels just really look they just looked really good and juicy these look good so yeah then I got some bathroom tissue and toilet tissue not really anything that really needs to like show really to be honest but why not I got some regular toilet I mean paper tip towels Called it a day. Some Angel Soft bathroom tissue. I need to find a way to store these. I really need to look up a way to like store these because I don't like them in the plastics under, I mean, in the laundry closet. Like I just keep them in the plastic that they come in. But I don't like that because I feel like I leave it open and then dust can get into it. And I don't like that. I don't want dust in my hoo ha in places. I don't want that. That's nasty. Anywho, I also got some Kleenex because your girl with her post nasal drip, it's me. I'm the girl. It's me. I'm her. I have an issue with my freaking sinuses. I'm allergic to everything. So my nose is always running and I just need tissue everywhere. So I need to put, I used to have one by the door. So I'm just going to pop this by the door and put one in the bathroom. I just need one everywhere and I don't want to take the regular tissue to blow my nose. So I just got myself uh, some puffs and called it a day. Um, and then I just got some detergent because we need that. And then I also got my scent beads. I love the downy light lavender scent beads, like the white, white lavender. It just does what it has to do. Um, got some bathroom supplies, some cleaning supplies. I had to re up on really, you know, essentials. You know what I mean? I'm not just here wasting my money. Um, and then I just got car refresher, air refreshener for the car. And then I got a dishwasher cleaner because my dishwasher be having its scent sometimes that I don't like. And I'm really trying to get rid of it. So I'm going to try to pop this in there to see if this gets rid of that scent. And then I have some wet ones to keep in the car. I usually always keep some wet ones and keep a couple wet wipes in case a bum try to touch me. Ew. Oh, and then I went to Zora. I went to Zora and I'm going to an event with my friends this Sunday. And I have this vision of this outfit in my head. So I got this dress that it's like the balloon skirt type of situation. I don't even know if it fits. Because I didn't try it on because the line was out the door. Okay. And you will not catch me on that line. So whether it fits or not, we're going to have to figure it out. So just in case if it doesn't fit, I bought a backup one from Amazon. And we're going to see which one works. Because if the Amazon one works, baby, Zara, you're going back. And then I got this cute cardigan. I felt like it is Chanel inspired. Can y'all see it? It's like a thick cardigan tweedish little material there we go there we go starting to adjust but it just it gives like posh you know what i mean it gives posh it gives that girl and i just feel like it's gonna look really cute when i'm like you know when it's fall and stuff because i'm not wearing it right now but i got it for the future or when it's chilly and i just want to throw something on like this is just this is it this is it and i love it so uh, that's all we got we were outside i'm about to eat some what would you call this like supper or something put these stuff away um and then me and Bay are gonna go see bad boys bad boys bad boys hey what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come to you we gonna go see bad boys you got 90 seconds all right, ginger ale and nothing else. Y'all, 
I have been officially influenced. And I'm not mad about it. I got myself a Stanley Cup. I have spent a great deal of time not being influenced with this damn Tumblr. But I'm in the process of changing my life and trying not to give the siren people my money. Just stay strong. So I got myself a Stanley Cup. It's a white standard Stanley Cup. I feel like it goes with a lot of things. You know, cool, bada bing, bada boom, cool. Also, but I really, really got one here to show y'all my new toothbrush. I told y'all, I showed y'all the last time I went to the dentist. So they were like, I need to get myself a new toothbrush because my toothbrush just isn't getting the job done the way it should be. Like it's not getting in between the crevices the way that it should be. And I really need a smart toothbrush. I have an electric toothbrush, but I need a smart toothbrush because they feel like I am putting too much pressure on my teeth with my toothbrush and when you put too much pressure on your teeth with your toothbrush the bristles aren't getting in and doing what it needs to do so you need yourself a smart toothbrush I will tell you baby girl relax so I got myself the sonic the Philips sonic care 9700 diamond clean smart power toothbrush this is it Give you a little up close to the front of the box. She dumb as hell. Shut up. I, I tell them how much you bought it for. Anyways, um, this is the back. It tells you everything that you come with. So it has a charging glass that doubles as like a rinsing glass. It has a travel case, a USB travel, um, I mean a USB charging case. Then it has the charging stand. Um, it has a tongue brush, so you can switch out the head and like brush your tongue after. Um, it has a premium all-in-one brush, which I think I'm just going to start with, and then we can go on to the other ones after, and I'm going to use it as replacements, because I'm not switching out through every single brush while I'm brushing my teeth. I'm not doing that. That's too much. I am going to switch between the brush and the tongue brush, though, for sure, but it has one specific, it has one that has all of the functionals, the functionalities of the bristles or whatever, of the brushes, that is plaque removal, gum care, and whitening. Then they have one that's a two-in-one, which is plaque removal and whitening. And then there's one that is plaque removal and gum care. And then we have tongue care. It has three intensity settings, five cleaning modes, which is, I think, clean, what is it? It is clean, white, gum health, deep clean, and tongue care. It has a smart brush, like head recognition, so it'll tell you whether or not you're brushing too hard and like first things first is y'all know how much I love me a packaging and look at the package first of all the case the box is magnetic then when you open the box hold on I don't want this to fall out mm. then when you open the box you get this whole shebang so there is an app that you can download mind you this is not sponsored so I know I may be sounding really sponsor-ish right now ooh I may be sounding very sponsor-ish right now, but this is not sponsored at all. So there's an app that you can use that'll be able to track your cleaning. So it'll tell you whether or not you missed certain spots in your mouth, which is this yellow here. The purple kind of show you like, oh, you're like adding too much pressure. And it has this cute little welcome, you know, paper that has all of these cute little facts about it. And I just felt like, you know, I should just, show y'all because maybe y'all interested it even has like a little signal thing here this little orange thing at the bottom this tells you when it's time for you to clean well change your brush so these is these are all the brush heads that it comes with the a3 is the main one that it comes with that's the one i'm gonna pop on because that's the one i'm gonna be using so this is the tongue brush which i do need and these are all the other brushes and then it comes with its own little like brush bristle cover which i love because my quip i've been literally brushing my teeth with for like four years since 2020 i've been using quip i feel like i've been using quip for a very long time and at this point it really is time for an upgrade but it comes with its own travel case really nice it's really really smooth it has like 
a travel USB case here. So this is a charging base, right? This little rose gold situation, you plug this in. This is the charging glass. So you put this on it and then you just sit your toothbrush in it and it charges your toothbrush, just sitting in this little tiny glass. And then in the manual, it has how to brush the teeth. I mean, we all know how to brush our teeth, but specifically for this item. So depending on which setting you do, you have to brush your teeth in a certain way because the um, brush is timed. So it has like three minute intervals, two minute intervals, two minute and 40 seconds, three minutes and 20 seconds. And then the tongue is 20 seconds. So you have to like, let's go. I wanted to show y'all. And your girl going to bed. I'm tired. I'm gonna get on here tomorrow when I'm getting ready and stuff to go. I'm literally just wearing something super plain. I'm wearing workout clothes. That's it. We're gonna go do yoga. They was like, oh, bring a a block to stretch if you want to. I'm gonna just stretch the way I stretch and call it a day. But that's just that on day. So yeah. And I got myself another brush cleaner. Because the last time I had a brush cleaner was during the wedding. And that's the last time I actually like really washed and cleaned my ring. And I need my ring to be blinging. So yeah, we're going to do this. And this is the best one that I found. Wyman's. They're, everything about Wyman is so good. Their house cleaning appliances. Their ring jewelry cleaning appliances. I mean, tools and stuff. Amazing. I haven't found. It, it's, it's, it has not disappointed me yet has not disappointed me but yeah y'all i'm gonna to chat to you guys in the morning because your girl is very much tired and she don't got it in her no more so yeah good morning guys it is currently sunday i am getting ready to go to an event um I'm getting ready to go to like a woman's, I don't even know what it is to be honest, it's like a brunch thing, it's like empowerment, empower, women empowerment type of thing. I've never thought that I would be at one of these things because it's just not really my style, but <clears throat> one of my friends invited me and we're all kind of going and I'm just like, you know, I haven't been out in some time, so like why not just go, you know, I may not be a potty pooper. I, it is literally 10 a.m in the morning like 10 20 now um i was supposed to be out of my house already because the event starts at 11 but one of the girls said for us to get there by like 12 30 um but just like literally like the latest to get there by 12 30 because that's when the panel starts or something um and the seats are a little weird so i was trying my best to avoid freaking flat iron my hair right now but i freaking what is this called wrapped my hair and unwrapping it i don't know if i laid on it weird or i just didn't do a good wrap last night but it literally um is bent in the back and i'm not going to nobody's event with bent hair in the back i'm just doing like a quick press i don't want it to be like I don't need it to be super sleek or anything. I just want it to look decent. And then we have this fucking... I have tapes in the front of my hair because my hair is broken off in the front. My fault. Because um, <clears throat> I manipulate my hair the most in the front. And I wouldn't even say it's mainly my fault. It's also like from photo shoots and stuff. Like I get my hair flat ironed all the time. It's heat to it all the time. Like it's just always manipulated. So it is prone to breakage so it's always like breaking but i'm in the process of regrowing it again we've gotten really far like honestly at first my roots are a little high right now but originally this was like here like it was like a bang so we are we are like about right at the cheek level it used to be here so we're trying to get her here to match the bob um <clears throat> and then at that point i'm gonna give my hair like one last cut just so i can have even hair everywhere because i don't want my hair to grow uneven i know some people it doesn't bother them but for me it does like i don't want my hair to grow uneven i want my hair to grow 
at the same length. So that's the reason why I keep cutting my hair. If anybody's wondering, I keep cutting my hair. Oh shit, did I just, I'm such a fucking idiot. So yeah, if anybody's wondering why I keep cutting my hair, it's because I want to grow out my hair and um, I just want them to be even like once it grows. So if I see breakage, or anything i'm gonna allow the breakage to grow i'm gonna like continue getting my trims but eventually once my hair all gets to like a comfortable length to where i'm comfortable with i'm gonna be rocking my bob for a little while so i'm expecting heat damage <laughs> but at least i want it to be like even if it's heat damage because i'm honestly never gonna wear my hair curly it's just not for me um I'll probably manipulate my hair or like do twist outs and stuff, but I'm never going to like wear my hair out. It's just not my steez. But let me go get this product really quickly. Hold on. Listen, y'all, I've been using the Tresemme Keratin products that they have sent me. Um, and honestly, with my sew presses, it looks so freaking sleek. Like it looks really good. I don't know if it's like keratin that's in it. Or what? Look at me still adding heat to my hair. And I said that I'm only adding a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's the keratin that's in it or what. All I know is, is this bad boy be bobbing for real, for real? Especially when I use these products. So I just feel like it works really, really well. And I don't know if you, anybody has ever tried it, but I would definitely recommend it. Um, I had a friend who also recently did a video using it using doing her silk press and her silk press looks so silky like their products are really really good and i'm kind of shocked because trust me is like you know i feel like they're not really catered to black women and specifically this line is just so freaking good i'm like shocked um so i just finished with my hair i'm gonna go in with their keratin smooth weightless serum i'm just gonna pop a little bit into my hands and i'm just gonna smooth this over my hair so that it doesn't look you know a little stiffy on and hopefully those ends don't start sticking up and doing the little song and dance it loves to do my hair is definitely not fully in the middle but i don't care i need to hurry up and get out of here because i have to go grab ashley um so we can go together this is so fucking cute are you kidding me okay so then i'm gonna take their anti-frizz humidity spray Humidity spray is like my best friend right now. If you're in New York, do you know that New York heat right now? Disgusting. Disgusting. 100%. And I need all the help I can get keeping this hair straight because I don't want to deal with anything. So I'm about to go get dressed. I'm going to do, I don't know how my outfit fully looks because. I just have it in my head. I, I didn't even try on a single piece at all. So fingers crossed for me. Okay, it's just looking good. The last thing I need is the wind to blow and then my edges are just looking a fucking mess. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm cursing so much. I don't know. I think it's because of my anxiety and me knowing that I, I literally need to get out of here in like two minutes and I don't even have clothes on my body or lotion on my skin so i'm gonna get dressed and i'm gonna show you guys my outfit after i'm done um and if you look 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 this is what i mean with these little short pieces it's pissing me off man. it's pissing me off anyways i'm about to get dressed no no music hey guys so i am on my way to go get ashley i know i told you guys that i was going to hop on here um I was gonna hop on here before I left, but I'm running like really, really late. We're gonna get there for the time, like 12.30, like the time that um, the girls told us to get there, but I wanted to try to get there by 11.30, which is not really working out because, yeah, um, I'm late. I'm running really late. And I was just having such a difficult time getting my outfit together. I got my dress dirty, and then I had to like hand wash my dress, pop it in the dryer, and it's still like, dusty and it has like so much stuff on it and i don't know where all this stuff came from i don't know if it was like this from in the store and i just didn't notice it when i bought it um 
but I'm just yeah I'm gonna show you guys an outfit my outfit like once I get there um, and just call it a day but I feel like I look really cute I'm really happy with the outfit the way that it came out um, I'm gonna get to Ashley's in like the next 10 minutes so yeah I need to hurry up just get out of here I got sandals on my freaking big toe I have a hole in my big toe I know it sounds crazy but so basically the nail that's over the edge of my big toe which I don't like I like when my nails are cut to my toe like literally like this is the skin this is my nail and I need to pop on my press my press on because look at my press on y'all look at this off my finger so, and this one the the finger thing is I don't even care I don't even care I don't have I didn't have time to do anything that I wanted to do but anyways my big toe basically the edge like if you see like this is the nail and this is the edge of the nail so the edge of my big toe that nail has a hole in it so at the t in the middle there's like no nail there like I don't know how it chipped like that but that's the way it chipped so it has a hole in it so I'm currently wearing sandals because I can't drive with heels I can but it's very frustrating and I wanted to get to my car quickly and get down the you know elevator and everything but yeah I'm just it's just a lot happening and I didn't even eat yet, and I really want coffee. So, yeah, just fingers crossed for me, Meryl. Good fingers crossed. I need coffee. I didn't eat. I feel like the pan, they said the panel starts at one. I'm really trying to see if I can finesse a Dunkin' Donuts coffee or something, because I need something in my system. I'm too fucking hungry. I'm back home tonight was so much fun with the girls being able to hang out the event was such a nice event um, they had so many speakers I tried to record as much as I could but at the same time my lips are I should let's add some lip balm on um, but at the same time we were just like really in in the event and like me Carisha and Ashley haven't seen each other in so long so we were also like just catching up you know zoom what the girls do but tonight was fun, was able to network. Um, met a couple of girls that I've known on like Instagram and stuff, being able to like chill and do all that. And yeah, like I'm excited. So now I'm about to edit while also trying to like watch something on TV. But I wanted to show you guys what we got in our goodie bag. Okay, so they got this the event was sponsored by pattern beauty and we got a couple of goodies this is not a part of it why do i feel like some of my stuff is missing but maybe it's not and maybe i'm just like in my own head but i feel like it was way more stuff in here than what's in here but whatever anywho so we got the topicals Faded Cream, um, the Brightening and Clearing Serum, um, you know, the one that everyone loves. And then we got the Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum. Okay. And then we have our pattern 
Beauty's Beauty. This is her moisture milk. And this is the Palo Santo leave-in conditioner. Excited for these. You guys know I've been rocking my natural hair lately, so definitely want some hair products for that. Um, and this is... This is the Detangling Nectar. Has like aloe vera, grape seed oil, sea moss in it. For us, if you want to do like a nice little wash and go, this will help with that, I feel like. Um, and then we have the Lipid Gold Barrier Lotion, a skin strengthening bioidentical serum lotion hybrid. I don't know. Apply to face and neck daily. So that's what this one is. And this is by the brand Stratia. Stra yeah, Stratia. So that's what we got in these cute little bags that says pattern hair care is self-care. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I'm going to try. I think this week is going to be filled with some things, not a lot, but I do hope to like bring some stuff to you guys. And that's why I don't do vlogs too much anymore because I feel like I'm not really doing anything. So it's hard for me to do vlogs when I'm not doing anything, but Whenever I do have things to do, I try to do a vlog for you guys. But yeah, let's let's get to work. All right, guys. So I am on my way to meet up with Carisha and Ashley. We're going to Rock and Ramen, which is like a Caribbean fusion ramen restaurant. We all wanted to try, really. And I'm just so excited to try it. And also excited to have a two in a row girls day slash night. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I have on a really cute, like simple outfit. I have on my pretty little thing, baggy jeans, my new balances, wool fur, bodysuit, my regular jewelry. Yeah, and a little lemon bag because I have been obsessed with this little strap on situation. I don't know why, but I have been because I don't have to worry about anything. But I'm about to be there in like two minutes, so I'll record a little something something. Alright, so I just got a package from Brooklinen. This is their Marlo pillow. It's a memory foam pillow. I've been wanting a new pillow for so long because literally my neck always hurts every single time that I wake up. So I just genuinely just want a new pillow. It is a standard size and my bed is a kink size bed. So I don't know how that's going to work. If you zip both of, if you keep both of the sides unzipped, it's gonna be like soft. If you um, zip only one side, it's gonna be like a medium firmness. And if you zip both sides, it's gonna be really firm. I think I'm like a medium, I don't think I'm a firm. So I'll zip one side. I don't know what this really means, but I think it's like the top and the bottom. Um, what else, what else is on, on here? Nothing really. And then they have a cooling pillow protector. Pair this with your Marlowe pillow and get your best rest. So, yeah, this has patented comfort fibers with dual infused cooling outer and interior layers. It's the best cooling tech on the market. And this is how the box is. Now, all the time can be leisure time. Okay. So, I forgot what I was saying, but I think I was saying that I'm going to bed. Um, oh, my hair. I've been able to stretch out my silk presses way longer than I used to. So, this is the first week where I've only applied heat to my hair one time, which was at the beginning of the week when I actually did my silk press. So, my silk press has been staying really, really straight. Now, I don't know if I can um, give credit, like give this credit to Fenty Hair because it's the only like new thing that I've tried. Or maybe I'm just getting better with my silk presses or my hair is just becoming damaged so it's able to stay straighter for longer. I don't know. 
um but my hair just feels really really soft it feels really healthy i don't know we'll see how it washes if we still have a curl pattern you know like god forbid i gave myself heat damage and that's the reason why my hair is straight you get me yeah anyways we're about to go um do this little pillow situation but i think it's gonna take me some time before it un it fully releases the air and becomes you know its final form so let me hurry up and do that because i want to go to bed this thing is so hard to get out of this i have literally felt like i'm about to lose a nail Okay, so the zipper that they were talking about is this zipper on this side and there's a zipper on this side. So right now this is firm because it's zipped up on both sides. Now, like I said, I'm medium, so it says to open up one side and then it just kind of creates more space, I guess, for the pillow to fluff up. I feel like this feels a little bit too soft for me, so we'll try. Um, or I might just fluff it, fluff it up to be firm because... My current pillow is like too soft, but we'll see. We'll see how I sleep tonight and whether or not my neck hurts in the morning. The cooler, the protector, the cooling pillow protector. One standard pillow protector with cooling technologies. So we're just gonna pop this bad boy in here. Oh gosh, honestly, this is actually quite literally annoying because honestly, if I can't zip it, what can I do? Should I do it upside down so I can zip it off? I'm just put my hands in it. In it. I think I'm gonna have to take it out still. There we go. All right, so then this way, when I have to zip up my side, I can like just unzip the top and then I can just stick my hand in it and put and zip it up this way. Or just hold the bottom and unzip it this way. I feel like that was really, really smart of me. <laughs> I usually start thinking that quickly. Um, so yeah, I did that. About to go to bed. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning. drips on its own and it's causing the my ac is on so if you guys hear noise it's my ac but it's causing the syrup inside to like cool at the bottom and then it creates like a sticky ring on my counter so i think i'm gonna have to like get a new one of these um because i do like them or what i might do is just get the big you see oh my gosh like this is actually irritating look at this look at what's happening like it's like leaking or something and it's causing wet marks out you can't really see it with the simple syrup one but it's syrup rings all over here and i'm not too sure where the hell it's coming from but yeah i have to either get new ones or what i think i might do which might be the better option is i'm going to get the large tarani pumps um even if i don't always have tarani inside the pumps and the bottles but i think i'm just gonna have that and just have the two because i literally only use vanilla and simple syrup so i'm gonna have the two there with the big pumps and i'm just gonna do it that way because this is aesthetically pleasing as this is it's frustrating me i'm gonna buy I'm gonna try to buy one more pump of these and if it works perfectly fine then maybe it's just a default with this 
but if it doesn't I'm gonna have an issue um, so yeah I'm making myself some coffee I actually have a nail appointment in about 30 minutes um, so I'm about to make some coffee just so I can have some coffee before I go to the nail appointment um, it's actually a pedicure I don't get my nails done anymore because I do them myself let me show y'all my nails because I went to um, I went to the Russians to get a Russian dry manicure with like no polish and my cuticles look so freaking good it's dry right now but my nails it made my nails look so good because they did such a good job with removing my cuticles so it made my nails look really really good and it makes my nails look like I got them professionally done so I'm really excited about that and since I've gotten this color on my hand there's been one other time that I got a pedicure when I forgot to bring my gel uh, polish that I always put on my pedicure and it gave me a color very similar to this and I didn't like it at first but I had it for so long that I got used to my toes being that way that now when I go back to my old one which I currently have on my feet right now I feel like my feet look naked so I want to go to them and just have them do a color like this I'm gonna tell them to just give me a color that looks like this um, and we're just gonna do that but yeah today I am I think it's today Today I'm supposed to be going to Spike Lee block party with Carisha. And so I remember the um, toothbrush thing which I showed you guys earlier. So it just gave me a notification telling me, and the only reason why I was scrubbing was just to show you guys that it warns you when you have too much motion and too much pressure. So that's the only reason why I did it, just so you guys can see it. But it just gave me a style tip, um, scrub detected, try a slide and glide motion for best results for that. But I must say that the brush, I'm pleasantly surprised with the blush, the blush, the brush. Very happy with the toothbrush. I feel like my teeth just feels like cleaner like my mouth feels cleaner it stays fresher for longer i really do feel like the combination of that and i still am using that arm and hair my third breath toothbrush i mean toothpaste i really do like it i did it as a sponsorship but i really really do like it and i've been using it consistently so that brush game changer with like the tongue thing and then it has multiple brush heads which i showed you guys so you guys can change it but i've just been using the main one and then i feel like i'll use the other ones when the time comes like i'm not i don't have time to be brushing my teeth like it's a freaking marathon and i'm one brush and the next i'm not doing that so yeah um that has been amazing and then the freaking pillow i slept on that pillow like I have no neck pains, no nothing. That pillow, I, I slept on it with firmness. So like I zipped up both sides. It made, I felt like I just was sleeping on a cloud. Like I, the first, yeah, I literally overslept because I wanted to wake up super early. I overslept because I was having such a good night's sleep. So that pillow, chef's kiss. I'm super happy with it. I'm so happy that I got it. It was actually sent to me. And I want to see if they could send me another one because I want it for both sides. Like. pod coffee that it's really really good but um as of right now i've been using the french vanilla the duncan french vanilla pods um but it's just not hitting like the other people's but i am going to try folgers i haven't tried folgers in forever and i don't even know why i forgot about folgers but i was listening to trading places by usher the other day and he said um what is it breakfast in bed with a cup of folgers you know what is the line? I have to, now I have to now I have to say the line. Wait, I'll be waking you up to I'll be waking you up to a cup of Folgers, pancakes and eggs. I owe you breakfast in bed, ooh, baby. And your orange juice sitting on the coaster, toast on the side, baby. Strawberry and grape jelly. Let me finish my hand. Anyways, that's what reminded me that oh shoot, I should try Folgers. I've never tried Folgers, or maybe I have, but like really, really long ago. Mm. Good coffee right there. But um, <clears throat> once I come back from doing my pedicure, I'm going to come back and finally finish up my um, video. My.
travel vlog for Africa because it's been way too long. You guys have been waiting way too long. I also want to get a new lens for this camera. Not in the sense of like I don't like this lens. I love this lens. I feel like it's too zoomed in for me. So I want something that has a more wider <clears throat> focal point. So I have to look up lenses that work for this camera because I bought a lens before from Canon and I thought that it, it um, went with this camera but it didn't. So I had to send it back which was very very frustrating because it's so annoying. But um, I am going to get a new lens for this camera because I do love the camera. I just want a lens that's a little bit more like, you know, I don't know, a, a bigger focal point. And I can't remember where the original lens is, but um, what else is happening? What else is happening? That's it. I'm going to go get my pedicure and then I'm going to come back. We're going to edit our video. We're going to do some laundry. Um, reset the home a little bit. I got some things from H&M so I want to show you guys. It's really just basic stuff. I just got basic tees and stuff. Um, so I want to show you guys that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not really much else to say. Honestly, another little quick thing. If you guys have not watched my Fenty Beauty hair video, my Fenty hair video, you should. Because honestly, I have been having issues with my hair frizzing up in the summertime. And it has been, honestly, about a week and a half, a week, since <clears throat> I've washed my hair. And through this week, it has been an extreme heat wave in New York. And my hair is still straight. Like, it hasn't frizzed up. Obviously, like, around the edges and stuff, it's kind of, like, gotten a little curly here and there, my edges. But a little bit of edge control, and I'm good. You get me? But... My hair's straight still and I'm quite surprised. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a little a little baffling if I must say so myself, but you know, do I know? I don't know, but a lot of people because I've I posted the shorts first, right? And a lot of people think that I'm over exaggerating when I say that I actually like the part of this, but I do. And when you watch my actual video, my full length video, 15 minutes, because I've made it as short as possible to the point where I will get straight to the point and give you guys exact thoughts and stuff and even my afterthoughts and everything. But um, when you watch my full video, you'll be able to see that I'm actually giving like honest review. I'm giving criticism. I'm giving where I think you could do more, whether I like it or not, what things because there are certain things like for example the protein treatment her comeback kit treatment i cannot tell you if it's great or not off of one use i have to use it multiple times it has amino acids it has um, hydrolyzed vegetable protein it has green tea extract this is perfect for girls who want to wear their hair straight this is perfect for girls who want to wear their hair curly it has protein bonds and amino acids amino acids help to smooth out your hair and allow your hair to not frizz same thing with protein protein helps with the elasticity of your hair it helps with strengthening your hair's bonds and repairing your hair especially if you wear your hair straight or if you manipulate your hair a lot and me also as a model i manipulate my hair a lot my hair is constantly manipulated for different type of styles so i really did like that product i really did feel like my hair was not as frizzy as it usually is when I do silk presses. And my silk presses since using that product has shown a big difference. It has been my second wash since I have used it. And honestly, my hair seems so much smoother. My hair is staying straighter longer. Um, it just, it's not as frizzy. And I do also feel like with me keeping up, obviously with like my trims and stuff has honestly been helping, but my hair has stayed smoother for so much longer. Watch my full video. I'm not here for kicks and giggles and bluff i am a licensed cosmetologist hair stylist i am not going to feed you guys bullshit especially when it comes to hair for you to jeopardize your hair i would never ever do that for the sake of any celebrity i don't give a shit i literally don't give a shit and the reason why i was like really intrigued on getting rihanna's line is because i personally love yusuf's work and i know that she worked hand in hand with yusuf with this product i really did look at the research behind it and looked at the ingredients that went into it to see if this will work for me or not and i also feel like she has not dropped anything anything that has come to beauty hair fashion that has flopped that has not worked that has not been amazing so why not just try out the hair so that's the reason why i tried it um, but it's, I'm not here for fluffs. I'm not fluffing anything up. I don't really, I'm not on PR. I pay for it with my own money. Okay. No money sent it to me. So I really do like the products and I've been raving about it to friends and family. And I'm just like, I think you guys should really try it. I actually really, really like it. And this is someone with 4C hair. I feel like if it works for my hair, 
it works for everybody okay it works for everybody but yeah um that's all i can say about that but let's go get our nails our toes done because now it is 10 02 i'm gonna finish up this coffee and go get my nails done i mean go get my toes done and then um yeah we'll chat later probably the worst person to go and get services done because I do not know how to speak up for myself and so I had booked with a specific nail tech or pedicurist or whatever who's in my toes before and I really like the way that she did my toes I'm assuming that she's either not there or she was busy with someone else someone else ended up doing my feet and it was a guy he did a decent job I just feel like he didn't do my toes the way I wanted my toes to be done but then again I also feel like it's also because I'm not used to the color it's a different base than what I wanted like I was saying I'm the worst type of client I'm the people that I tell my clients not to be like but I'm horrible when it comes to speaking up for myself um I don't hate it it's not like I hate it I just don't like the base I feel like my toenail like I'm not keeping this for a long time and I'm just kind of annoyed he made my big toe so short I'm literally like going crazy he made my big toe so so short and it's not even even like it's not even close to even it's two different lengths like my right big toe I'm happy with that length my left big toe he made it so short and it's not the same length at all but it is what it is because I got my toes done and that's all that freaking matters. I don't even show my toes that much, but, and then when I do, it's not like people are really going to be able to notice, but I just personally like when my toes just look nice for me and it's just not, it's not giving, never going back to them again, especially because they did that bullshit and I don't like that. I like when like I book something for somebody, I want that person. Don't give me somebody else. And they didn't even explain to me there was going to be somebody else or whatever. And then, like, I just assumed that he was going to probably, like, do the... Because I had to get my right big toe repaired. I thought that he was just going to do that. And then the other girl was going to take over. But that didn't happen. And then I was just so lost on my phone trying to make sure that I'm editing and doing everything and posting my videos that I, I really wasn't paying attention. I'm usually very, very anal about my toes. But I just needed it to be done. Um, but, yeah. And I'm also an idiot because I've been thinking that... Going, I'm going out with Carisha today. I'm going out with Carisha tomorrow. So to be honest, and I have clients tomorrow, and I didn't really pay attention to that. I'm going to see one of my clients if I can get her to come in earlier. If she absolutely cannot get in earlier, I'm going to try to cancel or reschedule for a different day. Because I'm not trying to... Like, the gap between my first client and my last client is insane. It's literally five hours. That's crazy. So it's like, can you come in earlier? If she can't come in earlier, I'm probably going to push her back or something. Um, it's such an easy style. It's literally like the easiest style I've ever like done. It's my wash and blow treatments. So I'm literally just washing your hair. I'm doing a deep condition or a protein treatment. And then I'm blowing it out. And I'm putting it into two braids because I'm not styling it. Like you didn't book a styling, so I'm not styling it. Um, so it's like one of the easiest things that I can ever do. I can literally get it done in an hour. So it's like, can you come in earlier so I can get, get it done so I can go? You know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter. But this is what I meant by my hair. Look how my hair has seen stayed straight for so long. You know what I mean? Like I have a couple of tapes right here. I think I told you these already. I have a tape here to just help with the front of my hair because the front of my hair is like shorter than the rest. So I have a tape here and here, just in the front, just so I'm able to like, you know, my hair can attach to something and it's not like sticking up. But my hair has stayed straight for like a really, really long time. It's like dirty now. It's really oily. I didn't even realize how oily my hair can get, but it's really oily now. Um, so I do need to wash it, but I think I'm going to like extend the wash to next week. Only because I have a photo shoot coming up on the well i have to do yeah i have to do a photo show on the 8th 9th and 10th so i'm gonna like rewash my hair and give myself a silk press for the 8th um 
or like over the weekend and then like by the time the eighth comes around it's not going to be as silky straight or something i don't know or um just do something cute for the eighth because it's really just kind of like a TikTok live type of situation. And then the 9th and the 10th, um, I have the photo shoot and then I have to give myself a silk press anyways on the night on the night of the 10th so that I'm ready for like, you know, the 11th or whatever for work. And then in the part of this lash is blowing my eyes. Oh my God, I just took everything off. Whatever, I like that better anyways. The other one was a little bit too thick. I need to get more glue. These are my like under cluster lashes. They look really cute. But yeah, I'm about to go take a nap. And then I have laundry that I need. Where is it? I have laundry that I need to refold. And yeah, your girl's just tired. I'm really tired. Let me go take a nap. I will be back. I could literally like pass out right now. Rihanna posted me. Are you kidding me? Rihanna freaking posted me. I know I told you guys I was supposed to be out right now. But we ended up not going because the weather has been disgusting. If you guys see this cloud that's by my house right now. Hold on. Look at this freaking cloud, y'all. Look at that cloud. Uh-uh. It's been so... F it's been so foggy and... Not foggy. So cloudy and just muggy and hot. It was like thunderstorming for a little bit. Then it stopped and then it went again. Like, it's just too much happening. So we were just like, you know what? We're not about to go outside. Carisha just got finished getting her hair done. I'm natural and my hair is currently straight. So I don't want to like have to repress my hair i'm trying to push the repress off until like next week so i'm really probably going to be like putting this into like a a bun situation but y'all rihanna posted me so i took a screenshot she posted them as a like compilation it's not just like my photo i mean my video and it's just like oh my god it's just a great video but she posted it as a compilation she posted it both on tiktok and twitter and ah, that's me if you guys saw anywho I'm very, very excited about it, and it's just like making me so freaking happy. Look at this. Just wait. I'm, I'm just like a short little minute in it. Not too much. <laughs> okay, y'all gonna see me in a second. I'm gonna be right there at the bottom. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause. I'm gonna pause. This crumb smell amazing. I just have to pause absolutely it. Absolutely loved this. That smells so good. Smell. That's great. Yeah, it's not too feminine. It's not too masculine. So much volume. The definition. Ah! First of all, boom. That's me right there, at the bottom, right? That's me. That's me the with my hair. Yeah, and then, then this is me. Soft. Ah! I really <laughs> love this product. I'm seeing. Stop. It's the most beautiful, defined. I was eating candies that I smell. Oh, this yellow. Up. Stop. I'm you like. like did that, you guys. I'm like so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy yeah so i just feel like now rihanna knows me now next time can you please fly me out can you fly me out so that i can be in la to riri please can i be on the pr list riri please i'm struggling out here i'm out here fighting for my life my head pounding i really need to go and get an excedrin because my head is really pounding. I can't take this and nothing works for me. I took a Tylenol and Tylenol is not working. Nothing works for me when I have a, he a headache or a migraine. It has to be Excedrin. Oh, I forgot I have pain medicine. I have prescribed pain medicine. It actually expired. I'm not really supposed to take it, but I'm going to take it anyways. Because if it's going to help, then such is life. It just takes longer to kick in. I'm trying to like fight myself so that I can... Edit, finish editing this video but like literally it's ticking me off and I don't have time and I kind of want to take a break and go see Shawnee for an hour or two and then come back and I think that's what I'm gonna do because I can't be wrapped up cooped up in this house like this my cousin Zelda was with me for a second but um she just left so yeah I can't and my face is itching like I have a freaking something going on I don't know but yeah yeah so I realized that I never um, showed you guys the items that I got from H&M. So, I am currently wearing... Let me pop y'all down. I am currently wearing this top that I got from Amazon. Which is actually a really nice fabric. Like, it's... I don't know, if, I don't know what type of fabric to call it, but it's like very stretchy. 
very comfortable in the way that it you know fits the skin is double lined so like honestly you don't have to wear like a bra or anything under it's literally like so comfortable but this is a onesie like um a leotard type of situation so i wanted to order and i got these i think i got this for like 20 dollars, and i wanted to order the shirt version because the brand also has shirts and t-shirts and stuff so i wanted to get that version that version is 16 dollars. so the other day i went into h&m and h&m has the same type of tops for literally 10 dollars. so i was like this is cheaper than this and i've been wanting to get like literally these type of shirts in all colors so that i can have a very what is it, like a capsule type of wardrobe where i have a lot of nude colored like colored clothing i don't know if i can wear this long for a long time also this is not double lined the way this is this is double lined on the inside and i do think the t-shirt version of it is also double lined as well so this is not double lined so you have to keep that in mind with these shirts but they are only ten dollars and i was just like you know what why not <laughs> um but i guess this is the why this is the not because i wanted it to be double lined and i never even thought about the fact that it's not double lined but anyways i got these shirts um i got it in well actually this is not the same shirt but i got it in a pink like a soft pink i felt like this is a really cute shirt from like summertime or whatever i got it in like this neutral cocoa brown color and then i got it in a very light tan now i have this bodysuit also i have my current bodysuit in this taupe color which is kind of similar to the other colors that i have but at the same time it's not the same shirt so yeah whatever it doesn't really matter so I got that and then I got this t-shirt which I feel like is also really cute it's I think it's a size too small it's an extra small so obviously it's a size too small but they didn't have smalls and I really wanted the shirt I just liked it it looks like a really relaxed tee like one shoulder like higher than the other type of t-shirt um, and it has like ruching on the corners and stuff like I said it is an extra small so I don't know if it's gonna fit me the way that it should because it's an extra small not a small but I like this shirt and I feel like it would look really, really cute with like some jeans, some denim jeans, something to like really, you know, zoom what it got in zoom. It's a pair of trousers, like they're like oversized trousers. I probably should have got a size small. I got a size medium just because I wanted it to kind of be like, like baggy. That's just the type of pants that I like to wear lately. I've just been really into like baggy clothes, baggy pants, tight t-shirts. Like that's just my C's right now. Um, so I got this, and I don't know how this fits, actually. Let me just try it on. So I don't know how it fits. I just hope that it fits me well, because so I didn't try it on, because I don't like trying clothes on in the store. I felt like it had a drawstring, so, yeah, I'm glad that I got a medium. Ugh, it's kind of high waters on me. I hate having a butt sometimes, because it genuinely makes things high water. Okay, that's the reason why I got a medium. So it also has a drawstring so i'm able to pull it in so let me zip this up and that's the reason why i got a medium so if you see like back here is too big for me but i can pull it in to make it smaller so then it's like a drawstring this is yes this is the reason why i got it because i felt like i can i can finagle with this and get away with it obviously i need like more of a t-shirt but i can finagle and get away with it and that I am okay with so that works um and then I got this like Yankee hat I feel like with my bob I just need a whole bunch of hats for days that I don't feel like doing anything with my hair and I feel like this is just so freaking cute um I was gonna wear this today when I went out with Carisha with like some really nice jewelry because I was not going to wash my hair I don't care um with some really nice jewelry and then you know just call it a day and like a cute little outfit some light denim jeans um a little layer in action with like linen or something but that's what i got and i got this from i don't even know where i got this from i can't remember where i got it from it's a store, foot locker i got a foot locker so that's all i got pretty much um yeah it's not much for me to say Outside of that, 
that's it that's all i got i wanted to show you guys that because i know that sometimes i say that i'm gonna do something and then i don't end up doing it and then we're just like yeah whatever i also got myself a printer i don't know if i ever told you i got told y'all that but i got myself a printer i feel like i'm always printing something i'm always i need to print something or just anything and we don't have a printer so i was just like why not just buy a printer put it in like the beauty room we could sit it to the side or something um and when we need it we could just like plug up the printer so that's basically what we did so we got ourselves a printer and now i'm going to bed because i'm tired and i was up really really early today like at 7 a.m for my 8 a.m client so your girl is tired it is now 11 p.m i need to go to bed people's i today is sunday which means it's the last day that we'll be hanging out together <laughs> so um well until my next video i want to do more sit downs and stuff so i definitely think i'm gonna bring you guys more sit downs you know more hauls and all that stuff but 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 um today we're going to be spending the day together i am about to leave to go to the salon because i'm going to be doing hair and I realized that I never vlogged me actually like doing hair or anything. I tell you guys that I do hair, but I feel like a lot of people don't know that I actually do hair. My hair looks a mess, but I don't care. I don't feel like doing my edges right now. I feel like, oh, let me just do it. I'm about to like literally come home and wash my hair today. We're using Fenty today again because I've decided that I'm going to do a one month review on Fenty. So yeah, what the hell is going on? Like this looked so cute yesterday. And now it looks dumb. So yeah, we're gonna use Fenty hair. But like I said in my review video, I do wish that she had a clarifying shampoo. So I'm going to use it with a clarifying shampoo just because I need some clarifying. You know what I mean? Not like I've put a whole bunch of product in my hair because I don't feel like that. But I do feel like I want a clarifying shampoo because after I finish my photo shoot, I am going to be... I'm doing like a TikTok live with Outre and then... I am doing photo shoots, like looks and stuff with them after. So after I do that, I want to put in a sew-in. So I just feel like I need my hair to be like fully clean. And then we can do like a moisturizing, deep conditioning type of situation. I need to get out of here because I don't want to be late. I hate being late and I always end up being late like right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys when we get over there because I have to run. Okay. My battery is about to die. I don't have another battery. Oh my God. I just came out here to tell you guys that I am literally the worst person ever because I told you guys that I was going to um, bring you guys with me to work while I do hair. And I went up in there and I acted brand new. Okay, literally my oh, my freaking camera died, so I have to continue on my phone. But I have to make these into little small increments of videos because whenever I have a video more than a minute on my phone, trying to airdrop it to my laptop so I can edit just does not work out. Oh my god, there's so much happening right now. Um, but what I was saying is that I'm a horrible person because I told you guys that I was going to record me at work and I got there and we started talking about power and everything and I started watching power because my client watches power and she was just telling me how crazy it is. I'm over here thinking I'm two episodes behind. I'm only one episode behind. I took off my ring yesterday to wash my face for reasons I literally don't even know why. Like I've been doing shit and it don't be making sense to me but I was just like oh I just got my ring clean and I don't want to like sit here and have my ring dirty again and i forgot to put my ring on and i literally can't remember where the hell um i put my ring to be honest i can't remember where i took it off i know i took it off in the bathroom oh shoot i know i took it off in the bathroom so i'm assuming that it's in the bathroom oh my God, I don't 
know it's just horrible but yeah I'm about to head home. I wanted to go to Macy's because everyone keeps talking about those freaking Givenchy bracelets and they're costume jewelry. So I generally don't want to wear costume jewelry. Like I literally want to wear something. I don't know why I'm doing that. I want to wear something that I'll be able to wear for a long period of time. And costume jewelry is just not one of those things. Now, like for example, my Cartier bracelet, I literally don't, I don't take this off. I lost my Van Cleef. That's the story for another day. Actually, it's a story that I can tell right now. So, um, it's a story that I can tell right now. My Van Cleef bracelet, I took it off with my Cartier bracelet because I had a photo shoot. And that photo shoot, I had to take off my bracelets because it's a beauty shoot. I'm working with my hands and stuff. They don't want my bracelets. Cool. I put it in the same exact place that I put my Cartier bracelet. The thing is, though, I genuinely feel like somebody stole it. But the thing is, is that when people, I feel like unless you know Cartier, you, you're not going to know that this Just Home Clue bracelet is a Cartier bracelet because it's not the standard. It's not the standard Cartier bracelet. You get what I'm saying? The love bracelet. Everybody knows the love bracelet. Unless you're really into jewelry or really into Cartier, you're not going to know that the Just Home Clue is also a Cartier bracelet. So I feel like they looked at my the bracelets. They know what a Van Cleef is. I literally, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what happened. I cried. I am mortified. I literally was just like rethinking my life choices for so fucking long because I don't know what the hell to do with it. It's not like it was insured. It's not like I could get it back. It's not like, oh, it's still in warranty. It's not like anything. Like literally, I only had the bracelet for literally one year. And I just started wearing it. Like, I had it, and for, like, six months, I will only wear it on, like, special occasions. So, like, if there's a special occasion, I'll put on my bracelet. Because I was afraid of me losing the bracelet. And then I told myself that I need to stop waiting for special occasions to wear my nice things. And I, I need to, you know, treat every day like a special occasion. That's what I started doing. And in the midst of me doing that, within the next six months of me finally wearing my bracelets, I lose it um I'm smiling a little right now but it's just because I'm trying my best to not cry about it again because it's actually very frustrating because I, I love that bracelet it's like an investment piece you know what I mean obviously you're also paying for the name so there's that as well but I love bracelets like I realized that I'm actually a jewelry girl like I like to have things that I can keep on all the time so like I'm even in right now I'm trying to figure out what do I want to replace it with? Because I need to replace it with something so I can feel better. <laughs> and I am not, not buying a fucking Van Cleef, okay? Ali's actually the one that got me that Van Cleef. I am not bringing myself to buy a Van Cleef, but I do want to buy, I mean, I might bring, I might buy it. I might buy it, to be honest. But it may not be the full gold and gold one and like the gold. It's just so nice, but it's expensive. I'm not spending that money. I'm not spending it. And he's not spending it because he's pissed that I freaking lost it. And I was just like, this is why you should have got me a watch. Maybe he shouldn't have got me a watch because it would have got stolen. Clearly. And I was so upset. Like, I was sitting there. I was at the photo shoot. I was just like, listen, my bracelet was here. I don't know. It was like, oh, you sure you had it on? I came in with it. I remember me taking it off. Checking people's bags or whatever. And I felt so bad because, like, you're having people, like, check bags and everything and like you know checking people's bags and stuff and make them uncomfortable i didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable but i was so pissed off because i knew that somebody had it they checked bags it wasn't anywhere in my mind my crazy ass mind i'm like this person either got it in their coochie or they got it in their bra or something they didn't put it in their bag you get what i'm saying like or they already left because they had the models like staggered and stuff and i don't know like it's just something in me and i knew i should have never i should have just fucking uh i should have just literally kept my bag by me but I was like no let me just you know put my bags where everybody else's bags is and then I'm just gonna quickly you know do the shoe no one's gonna take anything no one's it, I'm not thinking like oh someone is gonna steal my freaking bracelet no I'm not gonna think that I'm not gonna think that somebody's gonna go into my bag and steal my bracelet unless like it was in somewhere and then it fell and then like it fell out and they saw it and they didn't know who it was for so they just decided to take it I don't know but I'm just very annoyed but either way Observation before me, you had all 
So they just finished in my mouth. And I'm starting to feel that already right here, but I'm scared of them coming in. Can you look pretty? But they, I have to get a filling because I cracked my tooth. So I cracked my tooth here and at the top here, which caused me to get a cavity. So. I just finished my checkup. I feel like I'm talking. I always talk weird coming out of the dentist because literally my mouth is numb. So they numbed up here and up here because that's where I had my chipped tooth at. I don't know how I chipped my tooth, but I just feel like it's from me eating freaking crab legs or something. Oh my God, I look so stupid. <laughs> but I think it's from me eating crab legs or something because I literally use my teeth to open everything. Oh my God, I use my teeth to open everything. And I use my teeth for like, to crack things, everything. So I do think that I cracked my tooth in one of those times. And I do feel like I remember a time, especially with the lower tooth, I remember a time um, when I ate something, I don't know what, and I felt like something in my mouth and I didn't know. And it felt like it came from my tooth. And I'm like, I didn't know what the hell like, it was, but I was like, oh, maybe it's like a piece of bone from the food that I was eating or something. But I just didn't think much of it. Um, but that's why it's just important to go every six months to the dentist to make sure that you are, your teeth are as healthy as it could be. So yeah, I am covering my mouth and I'm gonna stop talking yeah. on here because my lower lip looks crazy when I talk. Look at this. Oh, oh my god and this is not gonna wear off for like at least another hour and a half two hours or so so yeah i'm just gonna be silent from here on out all right guys i am back home my lip is twisted i'm talking twisted i don't know why it's so hard for me to hold this camera and actually like see whether or not i'm in frame or not but look how twisted my lip is i feel like that episode of <laughs> I feel like that episode of Khloe Kardashian, not Khloe, Courtney, when she was talking and she was talking to the side because her lip was numb. My lip is literally numb and it feels so crazy. Like all right here feels so crazy to touch. Like it doesn't, it's like, y'all know what feeling numb is. Like the feeling is there, but it's not really there. Like the one at the top, it didn't really hit me as bad as this one. I feel like he just added so much numbing here. If you guys did not uh, see that part, but I just got back from the dentist and i really just came on here because i just wanted to tell you guys that this is a fall that unfortunately it is the ending of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i don't even know what the hell this vlog is to sit up at this point i feel like i was just all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed it uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i want to give myself a round of applause because i finally i'm talking so crazy but I finally, 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 finally was able to freaking edit all the footage from Africa and finally freaking post it. But I hope you guys watched that vlog. If you have not watched that vlog, then um, just stay tuned to the end because I'll just insert it into the end clips. I'll add it into one of the videos. But um, I finally am able to freaking finish that vlog. And I feel like I'm free from those shackles. I'm finally caught up now this video will be like in good timing my next video will be in like realistic timing you know what i mean so i feel finally caught up i like challenged myself to not record anything else because i needed to have that done so i'm really really happy but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are so freaking close to 7k and i'm so excited i'm so excited like i really really wanted to hit 10k by the end of the year i don't even know if it's possible at this point but I'm praying that I'm able to hit 10K by the end of the year because I'll just feel so accomplished. But I know that takes work. That takes consistency from my end. So I'm just going to keep on trying to like push, 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 push on TikTok, push on YouTube, push, push on Instagram. I'm really, really trying to like stay consistent for you guys. So thank you guys for everyone who supports me, who watches my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Just that shit that drives me crazy